10 t-shirts, two tests and one result. And we're gonna find out what it is right after this. You're watching Skin Tech and Appliances. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Yes, my little dryer is in my lounge. Um, because obviously I did a bit of cooking whilst I'm doing this, but still, this is not why you're here. So for this drying test, we're gonna do two tests out of this. So I've got 10 t-shirts, five are gonna go in the dryer and we're gonna do a standard sense dry. And then I'm gonna do a 45 minute. The reason I want to do 45 minutes is it seems like around 45, 50, around 45 minutes to an hour, it can dry kind of a low, shall we say. Because with t-shirts, it's going to be a bit different. Again, okay, nobody's going to really kind of do like t-shirts and just t-shirts in a dryer. Um, they may do a bit of a mix load, but this is just a little bit of a test to see what it's like and and just like I say a comparison so what I'm going to do I'm going to get five t-shirts in here again it's all going to be random uh, two three four and five we've got the rest of the pile that's sat there and as you can tell it's not overly large and we are just going to, the first test we're going to do is put it on the usual, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do the standard one. And I've got my trusty timer. So what we're going to do, get it started. And we're going to start the countdown, the little count up. So what we'll do, we'll come back and then we'll find out how long this load actually took. And then we'll put this lot in. 45 minutes so what we'll do we'll get to the results I know this is not quite the results yet but we are still going an hour and 34 in it does say 12 minutes left and I'm hoping it's not the way I positioned the dryer that has caused it because I do have a bit of a gap here um, I mean it's not like a it must be about probably a foot so from from the back it's not as if i've got the vent um close or anything uh, um, no can't get my bloody words out it's not as if i got the vent um like area blocked anyway see um as i say it's a disappointing result because i say it's still got those five t-shirts left to dry and say it's still an hour and 34 in but as i say we will get to the results when we get uh, when we get there right right so i've had to stop the cycle because it's added on another 12 minutes and it's taken just over an hour 53 minutes just to do this lot of t-shirts and in all honesty bone dry that one this one i've got a hand bone dry next one bone dry it's literally, there's no moisture in these whatsoever. Very disappointing to see that it is not sensed at all, the load. That here is one and a half kilograms. I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna put it on for 45 minutes. And as you could tell, it's not extremely fully loaded. As I say, it's not, even if I push it down, it's like not even half a load yet. So it's literally half a load in weight, but that's taken an hour and 53 minutes. So put this on and we put it on quick. Now let's see. Now let's see 45 minutes. We'll get that lot dry. But I will say I'll only drive for 40 minutes because there's a five minute cool down. Again, we'll come back to the results and see um, the difference. I'm hoping it's because I'm not positioned it right next to my sofa. That could be an impact. Again, I'm gonna do more testing anyway, but still let's concentrate on this and see if we can get 
these five t-shirts done in 45. We'll come back in a bit. Right, I think we're done. And yes, it says 14 minutes on the timer. I've only just come to realise this. Um, this is another sensor drive program for the quick because it was down to about eight minutes and I popped myself to to the bathroom. Um was in there for about a minute or two. And then this jumped up from about eight, seven, eight minutes to 18. I did another 10 minutes on. So this is, the quick is a sensor drive program. And again, I'm very disappointed with it because I was expecting it to be 45 minutes because it's a quick dry. But it is what it is. So, as I've done that 45 minutes, so again, in 45 minutes, I've got all of my t shirts absolutely, these are absolutely bone dry. So, to conclude, I would say put a load like that on, five t shirts or maybe a bit more, 50 minutes. 50, 55 minutes, I think, is all you're going to need for like probably about half a load or something like that. I mean, that's a one and a half kilo when it was wet or damp, shall I say. So, yeah, I'm finding the result very disappointing with the um, with the sensor dry and obviously taking nearly two hours. I mean, that is disappointing for the 45 minute because it's a sensor dry program, which shouldn't be a sensor dry program for 45 minutes, but... It is what it is, but as I say, the best thing to do is probably do that on a time dry. Um, I'm going to do some more testing um, because I've only, like I say, I mentioned before, I've only got a small gap between that. Maybe I need to vent it a bit more. Maybe I need to put a vent hose on. To, I have no idea, but that it is what it is. But as I say, in 45 minutes, that is pretty much dry. Well... That's it, come to the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you do like these kind of videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell when you do. You won't get to miss any of my uploads. And I'll see you next time in the next video.